We love you, Lord. He loves me. Truly loves me. His desire is ever toward me. And I love him. things about revival is that God works in your desires. Hallelujah. And I think the greatest way for God to lead anybody, the highest way to be led by God is by desire. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we are 
surrendered to God, we can trust our desires. God will give us desires, holy desires, desires for nations, kindreds, people, hallelujah. And you say, I want to go somewhere. Well, that's usually God. Just put that desire in your heart and you can pursue it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember years ago as a young person, <clears throat> we had a, a youth leader that was here at camp meeting. And he, right after camp, he was sort of resting in the hammock one day. And he said, Ruth, you know what I'd like to do sometime? And I said, what, Brother Eddie? He said, uh, I'd like to go to New York and get a passage on the Queen Mary or Queen Elizabeth, I don't, I guess the Queen Mary was still going in those days, the Queen Mary, and just go across to England, and I'd like to preach in England a while, uh, and then I'd like to get a ferry across to the, the channel to France, and just preach in France a while, uh, and then I'd like to, and he sort of worked his way around the world, you know, I'd like to go down to Africa, and that was in his dreaming, and about Two weeks later, I got a postcard saying, I have booked my passage on the Queen Mary for such and such a day. It began in a hammock with a, an anointed daydream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He was gone two years on that trip. And it just sort of started as he began to talk. We can trust our desires uh, if we are anointed and given unto God. Oh, hallelujah. He just acted on it, stayed away for two years, uh, blessed missionaries all over the world, and that's what God wants to do in your life. Be sure to get a copy of my book, Glory, and if you're going back to your area and would like to take 10 or 20 or a box to sell back home, feel free to get them from the book room and they'll Take your name, and you can just send back the money as you sell it. But uh, let's get the get this uh, uh, glory, a Jerusalem experience out to people. I was so blessed yesterday. My little Korean friend that came down, she said, uh, she says, I'm reading your book. I said, yes. She said, didn't you notice I had my hands higher in the service, and I was dancing more? <laughs> well... Thank God that we're getting some immediate re response to it. Praise the Lord. And so I want you to take it with you. $10 for a copy. 20 of my choruses and songs are also in the book. And the song I just sang is one of them that you'll find there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm reading tonight from Isaiah chapter 60. Hallelujah. Oh, there is such a wonderful glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. From glory to glory. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the nation shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see all they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far. Thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. And the wealth of the nation shall come unto thee. I'm not going to read further, but I want to call your attention to verse 3. And the nation shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Hallelujah. 
I think the word that stood out to me in the former part of the service was that word rising. As Sister uh, uh, Lofton was giving that uh, prophetic song in the service, uh, the Lord spoke of us uh, as his beloved uh, and he spoke of us as uh, his rising one hallelujah oh I, I felt a quickening in my spirit uh, because I know the church is rising the church is rising out of their despair uh, out of a night of darkness uh, out of even the discouragements of the last two years uh, out of the perplexity that the American and worldwide church have been in. We are rising from the earth earthly and we're rising by the spirit of God, by that glory of God that's coming upon us. We are, this is the time of the rising. Praise the Lord. Someone had a vision in the service last night or the night before in which they saw us coming higher hallelujah that's the only direction of the church that direction is an upward direction hallelujah for again and again in the book of the song of songs the Lord is saying come away my beloved speaking unto John in the book of Revelation come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. There is an upward call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And an upward pull. God is calling us into that upward place, that higher realm in him. Praise the Lord and thank God we are responding because he looked at us tonight and said, my rising one. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Sister Dell came in tonight on a cloud. She said, I could have just uh, floated all the way back to North Carolina after Mother Heflin prophesied over me today. She said, I don't know why I wasn't transported directly home. She said, you know the, what the Lord said to me through Mother Heflin? I said, what was that? Said, the Lord said, you're changing you're coming up higher. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Well, that's the way I felt tonight when God spoke to us. We know that we're beloved because we're beloved for Christ's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what we are and who we are, he, we are the beloved because of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But when he says we're rising, it lets me know that that we are responding unto that wonderful drawing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord that we are responding and coming up higher. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord that there is an upward pull of the Spirit of God and we are rising in response to that great pull of the Holy Ghost. And my cry for this week of camp meeting is just higher and higher. Hallelujah. From glory to glory. From strength to strength. From anointing to anointing. Hallelujah. That we'll come into that fuller realm of the Holy Spirit that the Lord desires for us. We have that ability to respond to the Holy Ghost. That's why we come and sing and dance and rejoice. We're responding. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how people think they're going to get caught away when Jesus comes, when there's never enough anointing for them to even lift their foot off of the ground half of an inch. And if the anointing is present, they're stubborn and won't do it. Amen. 
But I'm glad we're getting these, we're getting our ability to respond to that upward pull. Oh, hallelujah. I, I noticed when the Kenyan brothers were singing, they, they had an upward pull. There was an upward pull that was making them leap up and down for joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And when we begin to see them with that upward movement, you and I begin to respond like Likewise, hallelujah, we were responding and rising up in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This rising in the realm of praise and worship is absolutely essential for the rising up in ministry that God desires to give to us, for the rising up in every area that God wants to bring forth in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as, as we rise up in him, there's a light that comes forth. Hallelujah. There's a light that begins to dawn upon our countenances, upon our very bodies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord that in, and we we're just sort of, it takes about 10 days to get camp meeting really going. Amen. And we're going to go from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because uh, as you begin to sort of cast off, I was noticing our Russian sisters. They came in and I noticed they weren't clapping. I don't, you know, sitting on the platform, you don't miss a trick. <laughs> Hallelujah. They weren't clapping. They weren't raising their hands. But I've been praying. I got so excited tonight. They were clapping. <laughs> they were raising their hands. It, <laughs> it took them a couple of days to remember what, you know, how, how to do it, uh, to sort of shake off, uh, amen, New York. And, uh, you know, their studies, they're, they're full-time students learning English these days. Uh, and uh, they had to shake off a little bit of that. Uh, hallelujah. Took them a couple of days to do it. But, oh, my, tonight uh, they were just uh, praising the Lord. I'm only using them as an example. There are lots of you uh, that I could say the same thing thing about tonight. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? It takes a few nights. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah to begin to flow and let the river carry you rather than you carrying the river. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. When Ezekiel uh, saw the, the uh, wonderful thing of the river of God, uh, he saw that the waters uh, were risen uh, and those waters were so great uh, that they could not be swum over. Hallelujah. They were so extensive. It, the waters had risen. Praise the Lord. Even in proportion to his walking out in them. Amen. And there comes. It is as we respond to the river that the water itself rises. Hallelujah. As we arise, the water rises. As we arise, Rise, the glory arises uh, as we step up. Uh, hallelujah to the challenges of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so the glory is there to bring us uh, into those greater things. Uh, I have had some amazing experiences in the last several years. Uh, and I remember one night last summer, I looked over and I saw the Lord standing here as the great pillar of fire. It, it was an amazing thing. I had never seen the Lord as a pillar of fire before. Another night in a service, we came in and I saw, I, I looked over in this direction and I saw the Lord as the stone of help, the Evan 
Ezra, and it was so beautiful as I saw him there. I believe God wants to take us into realms that we haven't touched on yet in this camp meeting, and we don't want to wait until the last several weeks of camp to let the waters rise, but we want to, we want to move on, amen, in the spirit. And one of the things that will help is lingering before the service and lingering after the service and being cautious that we don't in any way hinder that great flow of the Spirit of God in our midst. Hallelujah. What God has in mind is making every one of us so effective in this last day that the greatest story, let me say this, the greatest story you've ever heard about any man or woman of God in this century that everyone here can do even greater. Amen. Think of the greatest stories, and I believe this. I believe that God's going to have a people that are going to collectively move into that realm. How else can, can we even consider that nations would come to that light if it is just the light that we have at the moment that doesn't even draw the person from across the street, that doesn't even affect the one from down the road but God's got a light a glory that he's going to bring forth in us hallelujah hallelujah he's not scrapping us and scrapping the plan and considering it a failure to consider a whole new plan oh no he's going to do it in us in a people that are rising to the voice of God, a people rising to the Spirit of God, a people responding, hallelujah, that are hungry to be used of God, a people that will forget the struggles, the trials along the way, and look unto the glory that is to be revealed, hallelujah, and this people will know a light coming upon them that will be so bright that the very darkest time in our lives will be as the noonday sun. Can we imagine it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, you know, it's not quite as fashionable to get suntans and sun hats are much more in vogue. You know, the ladies don't want to get too much tan these days because of the new and certainly not the noonday sun but God's going to have a light <laughs> that's going to make the noonday sun be our darkest moment <laughs> oh hallelujah you can preach gloom and doom if you want, but we are moving also into the day of the greatest glory revealed in all of history. There's never been a day like the day we're coming into. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A day of the endowment of power from on high praise the Lord and that's why he declares arise shine for thy light is come hallelujah a people that know this glory realm and that's why I want you to read my book on glory because I don't have time in camp meeting to tell some of the things God has shown us in such simplicity in Jerusalem that will help you. It'll create within you a greater desire 
for the glory of God revealed and manifested. Hallelujah. It'll bring you into a day of ease. Amen. In which we don't continue to struggle and strive after the flesh, but we move into an ease of the glory of God revealed. In connection with this light, he said, the time will come that your sons and the people, strangers will come from far. They're going to come from far. Not only are the nations are going to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I, I'm waiting for the day we're not going to have to go out to them. I believe that. I believe that. Hallelujah. I believe God's allowing certain travels to get out and get the message out. But we're going to have a period of time in which we won't need to travel because God's going to bring them to us because of the glory and power and majesty of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. The nation shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. <laughs> I love that little T-H-Y. It's your rising they're going to come to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It's a very personal thing in which God rises upon the individual and people come to the brightness of your rising. Don't ever deceive yourself that they're coming because of your personality. They're coming because you're clever. They're coming because you're educated. They're coming because you're an orator. They're coming because you can quote more scripture than anyone else. They're coming. Oh no! They're only going to come for the light. Hallelujah! And you can have every one of the other and not have the light. And they're not going to come. But you might be a country boy and have the glory upon you <laughs> and they'll travel for miles to be in your presence because of that light of God that's shining upon you and breaking forth in miracle realms hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord John was not that light he only bore witness of the light. And you and I, from standing in his presence, are going to be the reflection of the very glory of God. We are going to be the throne of God that people see. They are going to look upon us and see the very glory that's round about the throne of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You praise the Lord for as we stand before the throne and that uh, that light shines into us uh, hallelujah it is reflected upon us in Moses day because of the blindness of their heart a veil had to be put on his face but we're going li we're living in a different day it's a day of removing the veil. Ho, oh, oh, ho, hallelujah. We're going to come from the mountain and they're going to see the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to come from the mountain and they're going to see the glory. Hallelujah. One of the wonderful stories that I love and I just heard recently that Sister Fuchsia Pickett is, I think, living down in Tennessee these days. She used to be pastor for many years in Dallas and now she's traveling across America teaching and had recently been up in Pennsylvania uh, with a conference where I recently spoke. But Sister Fuchsia Pickett, some of you have heard me tell the story and I would have written it in my book but I, w I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure if it had been recorded before but it's one of my favorite stories. She was professor of Greek and Hebrew 
at Asbury College, the Methodist College at the time of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. She came into chapel one day and there was, she was trying to get into the pew. And there was a little, uh, a young student that was weeping and crying and worshiping, saying, Jesus, I love you, just lost in worship. And Sister Fuchsia Pickett just kept trying to touch her on the shoulder or on the elbow or to say gently, excuse me, so she could get into the pew. And this student was totally oblivious to Sister Pickett. She just continued in worship. Oh, you're so wonderful, Jesus. I love you, Lord. And Sister Pickett said, when she finally found a place and sat down, she said, Jesus, I don't love you like that girl. I may be a professor of New Testament Hebrew, uh, uh, Old Testament Hebrew and New Testament Greek, but I don't love you like she loves you. I want an experience that will make me love you like she loves you. That's the light. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sister Pickett had an experience with the Lord and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in her life. And she said that for two years, there was an invisible cloud that hung over her head. The dairyman or the milkman, the postman, any, any delivery person would come to the door of her house, uh, ring the bell, and she would go to the door to answer it, and they would say, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt you while you were praying. She said, I wasn't praying, but everybody thought she had just been praying because that glory cloud was resting upon her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men were coming to the brightness of the rising. Hallelujah. It's not difficult to have that glory. We just need to be worshipers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more that we are in his presence worshiping, the more that light is going to dawn upon us. Hallelujah. You can spend the same amount of time in prayer and petitions and requests and intercessions, and you're not going to receive the same light because you're only orientated toward getting. But when you stand in his presence, and pour out your soul in worship unto him. Hallelujah. He's going to pour back into your life. You may not rise up necessarily with the answer to every petition, but you're going to rise up with the light, a glory of God upon your countenance that's going to cause a difference in your life and cause everything else to come into ease and order by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, praise the Lord, and the nation shall come to thy light. Oh, ho, ho, your light. <laughs> Hallelujah. You said, but Jesus is the light of the world. No, but they're going to come to your light. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus shining through you. Hallelujah. The king shall come. The, uh, the, the uh, people, the nation shall come to thy light. And kings to the brightness. Oh, you say, I just want to be hidden. You're not going to be hidden if you come into glory. Amen. People sometimes say that the last day revival is going to be a revival of ordinary people. <clears throat> I know what they mean when they say that. But no revival ever happens with ordinary people. <laughs> The glory of God takes ordinary folks like you and me and makes us 
extraordinary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revival comes uh, through extraordinary people. Uh, those upon whom uh, the light and the glory of God shine. Hallelujah. The nation shall come to thy light uh, and kings to the brightness of thy rising lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee thy son shall come from far and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy sight oh then shalt thou see and flow together and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee and the wealth of the nations shall come unto thee ha <laughs> oh light has come hallelujah there is a rising of light upon us and as that light comes we likewise arise up in the name of the Lord hallelujah verse 2 let's just consider it a moment behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee and Isaiah's message was not a message of darkness that's only the time frame for the day of glory the time frame is is that in the day of darkness when the gross darkness upon the people the Lord shall arise upon thee hallelujah hallelujah I feel him arising I feel him arising upon us praise the Lord hallelujah it's the Lord that's rising upon us and causing us to be a people that are rising up unto to the challenge of the day and hour rising up with the glory of God upon us and I believe Sister Dell's going to do exploits in the name of the Lord hallelujah I, I, we can't imagine Sister Dell ever being willing to sleep anywhere or eat anything but I believe she's going to do that too amen I, I just believe that I believe that guys God has changed her from glory to glory she's going to go on from glory to glory into the next phase by the Spirit of God only using her for an example but as you and I have been changed this is only the beginning of our change we're going to see an acceleration of it in the days to come we're going to go from this glory to another glory to a greater glory of God hallelujah hallelujah there's great lifting up in our God in these days don't walk in the earthly realm it's detrimental to every area of your life but live in the presence of God hallelujah it'll be life and health to your bones strength to you amen hallelujah praise the Lord you won't need to worry about the wrinkle cream ladies you'll have glory just hallelujah shining forth that light and presence of God and our Heavenly Father we just believe you tonight hallelujah to minister unto us <laughs> we thank you Lord we thank you Lord that we're living in these days that these these are the days of the glory of the Lord revealed and Lord we thank thee that you've said they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up with wings as eagles and we are mounting up in thee O Lord we feel our spirits soaring we feel Lord that call 
to come up higher. And Lord, we just declare that even in these next days of camp meeting, before even the end of this week, we're going to move into a new glory. From glory to glory, from glory to glory, Handorabashanai, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah, just lift up your voices with me, Hallelujah. Just gather here at the front, everyone gathering in. Hallelujah. <clears throat> From glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Just move on in close by the Spirit of the Lord. From glory to glory. From glory to glory, from glory to glory, by the Spirit. speaking to me at that moment about breaking. When circumstances break you, your spirit is so oppressed that you can't rise up. But when you are broken in worship, there is an automatic rising up into a new realm. Amen. Amen. That's the way God wants the breaking to come. Not through circumstances, not through family trials, uh, not through relationships, uh, not through sicknesses, not through all of those things. Sometimes we need those things before we're willing to become worshipers. But the great breaking comes from the warmth of his presence when we are so overwhelmed that we could know him so intimately. Hallelujah. 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 God wants to give you some, some fantastic experiences that are going to revolutionize your life. From glory to glory.
to the Lord from below. 